Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today we're just going to start opening up Photoshop and going over what is what you see when you first open it. <clears throat> so let's open up uh, Photoshop, and there are two different uh, types of Photoshop. We've got Photoshop CS6, and that's a 32-bit version, and Photoshop CS6 64-bit version. <clears throat> now, if you're a computer, is a 64-bit operating system and has over 4 gigs of RAM, you're going to want to use the 64-bit version because it uses 10% more, it's 10% 10 per, 10 more efficient over at using like the memory storage and all that stuff over uh, the regular 32-bit. Now sometimes you might get some plugins or something like that for Photoshop that may only work in the 32-bit version, um, but most of the time you're going to want to use this 64-bit. So uh, just click on that and it'll open up and I already have Photoshop open. And when it opens up it'll just be like this right here. And there will be nothing else except for uh, these different panels. And I'm going to go over what the panels are called and then we'll open up a composition or a new, uh, a new project. So <clears throat> up here in the top this is our um, just our this is our like options up here we've got our file edit image layer sorry for going so fast through them but um, I'll go through those later we don't have to know everything in those we've got our options bar underneath and um, this displays uh, options for the tool that you have picked the tools are over here on the left and if you click on one of the tools the option bar is going to change to use the tool that you have selected, the different options for that tool. So if I click on some of these, you'll see that it, cha it changes. Now our tools here are what we use to work on a lot of our, um, on like our images and on our design projects and everything. Over here we have our workspace menu, which is this drop down up here in the top right and it displays uh, the different options that you have so this one's the painting menu <clears throat> and uh, we'll go to essentials and I'm gonna keep it on essentials you can create your own menu or different um, types of things based on what you use a lot on the right we have the uh, the panels and this gives you access to the different Photoshop panels here and that some of them are tabbed we've got our layers panel that um, you might be familiar with what this is where all of our layers will be and then we've got our color and there's a whole bunch of different uh, panels that we can add by coming up to the window and then clicking on at least one of these so I'll go to something like properties and then I'll and then I'll show that for us up there um, down here at the bottom let me uh, need to create I'm gonna open up something really quick Let's go to File, and we'll go to New. And this is how you open up a new project. And it brings up this screen here <clears throat> where you can name it. And we'll just name this first. And um, there's different presets here for you. So US paper is just like the same as a piece of like printing paper, 8 by 8.5 by 11 inches. And then um, we've got film and video down here. 720 by 480 and then underneath um, our uh, paper I mean underneath our preset we have different other types of uh, presets so maybe we want to do HDTV and then I'll change the different pixel dimensions and everything so um, you can go up into custom down here at the bottom and enter your own values if you would like so that's uh, what we got going on there. We, uh, you can change your uh, background to a color, white or transparent. That's up to you. And then you got your color modes here, and then your um, your uh, bit depth here, which I'll have to go over at another point in time when it will make more sense. <clears throat> now I wanted to let you know that you could also change it from the uh, unit of measurement that you're most comfortable with. So it's on pixels right now, but you can also do inches, centimeters, so, and then there's a whole bunch of different other ones that you can use also. Um, I'm most comfortable with pixels because it, 
um, just reminds me of like a monitor size and then like a TV size but sometimes if you're working on like a you're making a flyer you want to stick to like the US paper um, one so we'll just hit OK on that to just bring up something and uh, here we go we've got something a canvas to actually work on now now down here in the bottom left is the uh, zoom size and um, you can either type type in um, how much you want to zoom in and uh, that will be 100% so you type it in and press enter and you'll be able to zoom in now I'm gonna go back to what it was so we can actually see so this is at 25% <clears throat> now there is a, a document window right here, this tab right here, and we can drag that and move, move that uh, back and forth. If I open up another document, let me open up something I already had made, we can see that we can switch in between these two documents by clicking on these tabs and we can reorder them. And then th to just get them down, you can go file close or you can just click on this X here. So I just click on the X and it, the other one went away. Now I just want to show you one more thing before we uh, head out uh, from this tutorial. To save it, you click on File and then come down here to Save or Save As. And then you can just save it wherever you would like. The hotkey for that is Control S and that'll save for you. So thanks for watching this part of the tu tutorial. Uh, it was basically an introduction on to what uh, Photoshop has when you first open it up. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next tutorials where we're going to start getting more into like panels and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.